every day. And if he does get two hours off in the morning, he has to rehearse a fight. Baron Steph, it's not your fault. It was your father's. We had 16 fights in the movie for Christian to get through. Well, you ran into the reflection of one there and I got away and yeah. bang. Yeah. Because he had such a heavy workload, we did a lot of blocking of the fights um, with stunt guys and just liaising with Chris Nolan on tape. <laughs> then we'd bring um, Christian in, put the acting element into the fight and perhaps tweak a few bits that felt character-wise like they should change. <laughs> changes and then when we'd get on set it'd all change again <laughs> in terms of the fights christian learned every single fight he did every single fight the casey fighting was very close quarters so it was a very dangerous art the hits were very direct to very dangerous parts of the body um, so we had to be very very careful as not to injure our actors or our stuntmen of course <laughs> A lot of the hits were like two, three inches away from the target, so every, every time. I absolutely respect the stuntmen. This is what they do, and they can obviously do any of it in a vastly superior way to what I can do, but I always like to try it, you know? And I like the possibility of being able to have some kind of stunt sequence, and then you can zoom in and whatever, you know, and you see that it's the real person. Basically, Christian learned fights very quickly. He'd go home at night and he'd watch the tapes and he'd literally come in the next day and know the fights. He has a photographic memory. So I would show him a fight and it sickens me because, you know, I'd show him 20 moves and then within half an hour, he would have all those 20 moves down. I can't do that and I'm the fighter ranger. <laughs> Batman is on equal terms now with Ducard. I think we feel that they are equal to each other. It was punch for punch, kick for kick, and that's what made it very intense and dynamic. <laughs> Liam and Christian were keen to be involved, to rehearse. In fact, you know, if they weren't doing anything, they'd actually call and say, look, you know, why don't we rehearse? Liam was a strong fighter. Casey's actually a fighting system where you use a lot of uh, elbows and fists, and Liam's very tall. And I, I think he's six foot four or six foot five. He's a tall guy, um, so he has to go get very low in order to do the blows. Ready and action. We just wanted it to be as hard as possible. We wanted to show two men who are very highly trained and very highly skilled, very motivated. When I saw the enjoyment out of when Liam had finished the sequence and Christian, you could just see the glee in their face when they finish that sequence when they've just done 10, 10, 15 move sequence. And that's the best. Cut it there. Right, you guys all right? Yes. Cut. The KFM, the KC work on screen. And hopefully it's new, creative. Uh, and that's what's good about the KFM. You can be creative with it. You can be very creative with it. Which is kind of bizarre enough to get your attention and think, what, what the hell is he doing? And then absolutely vicious enough, but also practical enough to believe it. KC reflected quite nicely our overall approach in terms of script and design of seeing Batman not as a glamorous sort of branded figure, decorative figure, but as a, a functional entity.